Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Raid Shadow Legends video on the channel today. Now before we proceed any further, I do want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Plarium, the makers of Raid, and they've been nice enough to provide us with some special links for you guys to use to install the game for yourselves on your iOS device or Android device, whatever you prefer. And when you use these links to get the game, you'll receive a bunch of awesome rewards, such as 100k silver, 50 gems, a full energy refill, as well as the amazing champion. We're gonna pop over to Knight Revenant here. And the champion you get for free is Executioner, who is absolutely amazing. He will tear through the early game for you, and uh, he's definitely someone you want on your party for the beginning of your journey. So with these things, you can get the best possible start to raid, to your raid adventure. And uh, of course, you get all this stuff by using the links in my description, so make sure you guys do that. But the thing is, this offer doesn't last forever, so uh, make sure you get on it as quickly as possible. This is only valid for the next 30 days. And now with that out of the way, let's jump into the video. And uh, we're gonna start things off here with some summons, just like last time. But unlike last time, we actually have boosted rates for the next eight hours, which is pretty exciting. And uh, if you guys didn't watch the last video, spoilers, your boy did not pull a legendary champion. So today, we have another chance with 23 more ancient shards, as well as a void shard, which, from my understanding is pretty rare so we're gonna use that at the end but let's start with 23 ancient shards first we do have let's see here a 0.5% chance to pull a legendary so if you guys are here from Dokkan uh, that's about the rate you could expect from an LR in Dokkan so uh, yeah not the most likely of scenarios but it's definitely possible I've seen some people do it and I have faith, you know what, I have faith. So we're gonna start here, just like last time, with 10 singles, or maybe maybe three singles, and then two multis. You know, I'll, I'll think about it, I'll think about it. Okay, so we have a Mystic Hand, who is actually new for me, so I'll take it, even if it's rares, as long as it's a new unit, or a new champion, I'm okay with that. Okay, so this is uh, Mar Marques, Marquise? Not really sure how to pronounce that, but dude, like, look at the details even on these rare units, guys. Even a three-star unit, uh, you can tell they've put a lot of effort uh, into the design, so I appreciate that. I appreciate a developer that actually puts effort into their game, right? Okay, third one, I think, I believe this is a dupe. Um, so, you know, I'm gonna keep going with singles, I'm gonna do 13 singles and then end it off with a multi, and then after that, we're gonna do our void shard, and then jump into some gameplay, okay? So, uh, this guy definitely had 9 more singles, guys, still looking for that orange, uh, yellow, orange light, gator, that's a dupe, I believe, come on, oh, 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 that's an epic! Uh, Kytus, he actually kind of looks like the Executioner, except with the different, uh, different armor. Um, I believe his weapon and his shield would be different too, but, uh, he does look very similar, actually, to the Executioner, so maybe they're related in some way. I don't really know, I'm still kind of learning the lore of this game, so I could be right, I could be wrong, I don't really know. But the cool thing about this game, actually, is that you can see reviews of each character that you pull, um, from other players, right? And they can rate, I think people just rate like how well a champion performs in different uh, aspects or different events in the game. So basically as soon as you pull a unit, you can kind of tell how good he is. So this guy seems pretty good with the exception of Fire Knight's Castle. Um, otherwise, you know, he looks pretty good at Arena Offense. He looks like he's pretty good in the Minotaur's Labyrinth, Ice Golem's Peak and so on and so forth. So pretty good pull for me. He is only one of I think three or four uh, epics I have, so definitely, definitely welcome collection, or welcome addition to my collection. Uh, here we go, here we go. Okay, more rares, that's okay, that's okay. Steel, steel bow, bowyer, all right. Five more singles, and then the multi. The dream is still alive right now. 
the dream is still alive but it's slowly slowly slipping away with every single single that we do i just want that legendary champion guys i just want one i just want one you know actually technically i already have one but it's one of the worst ones gonna get like a, a top tier one i know i'm getting a little bit greedy i know a lot of people don't even have a single legendary champion but you know what i just i'm i don't care I'm being greedy. I want a good top tier legendary unit, legendary champion. Okay, so our last single can end off on a rare once again. So now it's time for a multi summon. All right, if you guys want to join in with me, feel free. We're going to do a group summon. If you guys are playing raid right now, do some summons with me with the boosted rates. Um, if you're playing something else like, you know, Legends or Dokkan or whatever, just, just, just pull out your game. If we need the luck, we're going to share that luck together. And we're going to jump into it in three, three, two, one. Let it rip. Let's go. That's 10 summons in a row. It rare, 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 rare. Epic, rare, 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 and rare. Okay, so pretty much like last time, I mean, this guy seems pretty dope, this Frankenstein dude. Um, so I guess I'm not too mad about it. I do, like I said, man, really, really want another legendary, but maybe that have, I'll have to wait until the next video or whatever, but no legendary for your boy today actually we can still get potentially a legendary from the void shard still a 0.5 percent chance though so i'm not really gonna bank on it but you know what let's do it here we go my first void shard ever and uh we are getting a three star cool <laughs> i mean what else could i expect what else could i expect but there it is, guys. Those are the summons. Uh, should I do the mystery shards? Actually, they're pretty bad. Um, the best you can get is a rare champion, so we're not going to do that. So now we're going to jump into... You know what? I will give you guys a rating later. Uh, now let's actually jump into some events here. I want to go to battle. And I'm actually going to gonna go into dungeons because I've been doing a lot of the story. I've been, uh, you know, making progressing through that, but I haven't really touched the dungeons at all. So today we're going to experience the dungeon mode together and i don't even know really which one is the best to start with but i mean dragons are cool so we're gonna go for the dragon's lair and we're gonna use my most powerful champions at the moment which is these guys uh the fifth one's gonna be a bit of a weak link um let's go for i guess we'll go for him we'll see what happens here we go jump it in guys first dungeon run ever in raid as you guys can tell i'm still learning the game but i am having a good amount of fun with it so uh, i definitely recommend it to you guys definitely check it out if you guys are looking for a new gacha game to play or a new rpg to play um oh i have it on auto actually you know i'm gonna take it off auto for the purpose of today's video i think uh i should turn off the volume a little bit it was a little bit loud i believe but okay here we go so I guess we'll just jump into our attacks. Earth Mother. Was it Earth Mother? No, War Mother. War Mother is the one legendary champion I have, and she actually uh, is quite strong. Even though I say she's not, like, you know, the best legendary, she's still a legendary. And legendaries in this game are kind of like LRs in Dokkan, where even the worst one is still really, really good. So, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe I should just be satisfied with my one. Let me guys. Uh, let me know if you guys have been pulling uh, any fire in this game recently. If you are playing, um, let me know if you pulled any legendaries. Make me salty. You know that always happens with the gacha games with me, man. My luck, generally speaking, is not great with these things. So uh, yeah, feel free to make me salty. That's totally okay. Let me know which uh, legendary champions you guys have been pulling, which uh, epic champions you guys have been pulling. Even epics, I think, are really really good in this game, and uh, they're still fairly rare, right? All right, here we go. We are fighting the dragon now. Uh, okay, so we're going to go with a Mother's Touch here. And take down about 10% of his health. Uh, let's try this right here. Exploit weakness. Not bad, not bad, okay. 
and rise to duty increase attack increase crit rate i like that raining claws all right yeah so he's definitely the weak link he is level one i'm, I'm expecting him to gain a bit of experience here uh i actually expected the level one guy to die but he's still alive that's dope yeah we're gonna get carried by our legendary champion here um even though we're not doing the greatest i think I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. After this, I'm going to check out the Ice Golem. And uh, we're going to take on a few other other dungeons too that are available. So that you guys can get a full view or a full idea of all these different bosses. Um, I don't think they're all actually available yet. I, I think it's kind of like uh, events in other games where it you know it's a bit, it becomes available on rotation like throughout the week. But I did see that the Ice Golem is available. And I think a few others were available too. So we're going to do all of them in today's video, at least the first level and that's gonna be it now i don't think i can really go that far in any of them like any specific ones because i'm i, I think i saw in someone else's video that the difficulty ramps up pretty quickly so if it's taking me this long to take take down the first level of the dragon's lair uh i don't want to find out like <laughs> right now at least how much harder the other stages are so yeah we beat the dragon first stage pretty sweet and uh let's let, let's move let's move back and take on the ice golem there's also the minotaur minotaur the spider's den and uh arcane keep yeah as you can see the spirit keep and the magic keep are available uh later uh on the end of the week as well as the void keep so let's take on the ice golem here guys we're gonna take the same team as before um and uh here we go I wonder if like, I wonder if I brought like a level one team, if we could actually still beat it. We could try, but it, just, it might just be a waste of time. That's the thing, like I don't want to waste your time, you know? So we're going to go with Mother's Touch here. She should take care of all these guys. All right, easy, easy. And, uh, oh, we can't use that again, but let's actually use her second attack here. And everybody's dead as well. I like it. Yo, I love AOE units, man. I love AOE units. All right, so this is the ice golem. Uh, I think I think if if I if I'm my prediction is accurate, if we just take down the, the the main guy, the ice golem in the middle, then his cronies on the side will die too. So I'm not gonna worry about them too much right now. If I have to take, if I have to kill them later on, then I'll kill them later on. But right now, I'm gonna focus on the ice golem in the middle. Uh, <laughs> yeah, my girl, what's her name again? Talia, I think. My girl's not really doing too much for us right here, but. It's okay. It's okay. At least she's cute. Oh, he froze us. He froze us. But then... We're still frozen? Oh, okay, two of our guys are still frozen right now. Uh, I'm not really sure how many turns we're going to stay frozen for. Uh, let's go with this right here. Soul Feebleness. Ooh. That's actually a good amount of damage from this guy. And he's only level 4. He's only level four. All right, so I think I'm gonna keep working on him. I, I didn't realize he could actually hit that hard. Oh damn, you are Earth Mother. I, why do I keep calling her Earth Mother? Where does it even come from? Um, our War Mother is frozen. She's unfrozen now, and I think we can actually use um her third attack after this. So I'm gonna go with this here. And let's see what we can do. Oh, wow, four people are frozen. Okay, so we're having a little bit more trouble than we were with the dragon here, uh, which is strange considering the ice golem is actually a lower level than the dragon was, but maybe it's the type advantages here. Um, yeah, okay, one of our guys is dead. But he's dead here too. This is it. All right, there we go struggled a little bit um it's actually level four guy that died so i guess it's not surprising but let's go back out of here and take on someone else so we fought the ice golem we fought the dragon's lair let's fight the minotaur okay um i think i'm gonna bring earth mother and i'm gonna bring her as well but let's try some other people that we just pulled how about that 
So let's take, let's take, who should we take? Uh, we just got this guy. I remember that. And we also just got, we don't, who else did we get for the epic? Um, was it, it was this guy, right? The Frankenstein dude. And for our last unit, let's go for this guy. Okay, here we go. Jumping in, guys. Minotaur fight, and then we're going to do one more. Let's jump into the spiders then after. And that's going to be it. That's going to be it. Hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have tried Raid for yourselves, how you're enjoying it. And uh, of course, once again, make sure to use my links. Make sure to use my links. Now, I know it seems like I have a lot to benefit from it, but I actually don't. I don't, I don't get anything special or anything on top of any kind of bonuses or you guys using my link. I just think if you're going to start this game, you might as well start it the right way, right? So use my link, get your, get your bonuses, get your silver, get your gems, get your uh, executioner and also your energy refill and let me know how you guys like it. All right. And best of luck on your summons, of course. Best of luck on your summons. I mean, nobody... Uh, can evade the shaft forever, but I really hope you guys don't get shafted because when it starts, when it comes to like starting a new game, especially a gacha game, it, I find that I'm way more likely to stay like with it if I, you know, don't get destroyed by RNG in the beginning. Like, for example, when it comes to like legends in the past, right? The reason that I stuck with it for the first while the first couple of months is because I actually got some really good luck pulling sparkings in the beginning and then later on and I kind of fell off uh, but now I'm back into it and recently I've been having some really good luck with it again so I've been enjoying it a lot but yeah for me personally I think with you guys probably too when you're starting when you're playing a gacha game your level of enjoyment with it is really contingent on whether or not you get the units you want right so basically a very long-winded way to say good luck on your summons I hope you guys don't get shafted. What is this? Meaty Fists. Uh, attacks one enemy two times. Each hit has a 15% chance of placing a stun. Um, debuff for one turn. 50% chance of placing a 60% decreased defense debuff for one turn if the stun is placed. Okay. So let's see what happens here. Did we get the stun off? I can't tell. I don't really know. I hope, I hope we did. I hope we did. <laughs> Okay. Um, so Minotaur so far hasn't hasn't been that difficult. I think the hardest one has still been the Ice Golem, by far. Uh, but once again, I think that was just the, the type of advantage that we had. And there he is. He's dead. And yeah, that, just like I thought, you don't have to actually take care of the guys on the side as long as you kill the main boss in the middle. Then you're good to go. We unlocked the Sparring Pit. Interesting. All right, well, we'll check that out maybe in the next video. Today, we're focusing on the dungeons. And uh, the final dungeon we're going to take on, guys, is the Spider's Den. So let's jump in. And I'll showcase, I'll showcase some other different uh, champions for you guys. So, of course, we have to bring War Mother, but everyone else is uh, up for grabs. So let's go for uh, this, this dude right here. Let's go for him. Let's go for her and go for her. And we're jumping in. So basically a level 26 legendary or epic champion. And then four level ones. I think we'll still be fine though. I think we'll still be fine. Maybe. Maybe. Um. <laughs> okay, why is everyone attacking the one... The one girl. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Alright. Um, this is an AoE attack. Let's see if we can just take out all the spiderlings here. And War Mother can definitely take everyone out here. There we go. All the spiders are dead. And they just make some more. Okay. I mean, I shouldn't be surprised, I guess. Uh, attacks one enemy. Okay. Curse Eater. Yeah. Um. This guy seems kind of tough. This, this spider dude seems kind of tough. Uh, attack at random three times. Oh, I get it. I get it. Okay. What's this? Uh, when hit by an enemy, places a 15% continuous heal buff on the champion for two turns. That's pretty solid. But let's just go for the attack right now. We're going to go on the offensive. Uh, <laughs> to almost no damage. And... Whoa. I should have brought 
a stronger team. Whoa, okay, regret. Um, uh, should, should I keep trying or should I just quit? I don't, I don't even know. I, I, you know what, you know what, we're, we're leaving. We're leaving. We're bringing a different team. We're gonna take the L here. Yeah, we're gonna take the L here and come back with a better team, guys. So I'm gonna take all these level ones out. I don't even know what I was thinking, to be honest. And we're gonna put in her, we're gonna put in him. Um, I'm gonna take put take her as well. And uh, for the final guy, we're gonna go for, for this guy. Here we go. So that is my current strongest loadout. I do have a lot of work to do, but I think this team should take care of things. At least to fare a lot better than our last team did. Our last team was just pathetic. That was just, that was just sad. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, I'm gonna go for the third attack here. Mother's Touch. Everybody's dead. No problem. And uh, here. Exploit Weakness. Okay. It looks like our level 6 guy is about to die very soon. Yeah, he, he has a lot of poison on him, so he's probably done, like, next turn. <sighs> okay, that, that ability to heal up is mad OP, man. It, it, it's just, it's not fair. It's, this is not fair. Um, I think I might have to come back in the future, you know, heal up a little bit or, or, or train a little bit, level up my guys a little bit more before we, we, we attempt this again, because uh, even our level 20 guys are not faring so well in this one. Maybe this is just like an extra difficult event, you know, extra difficult dungeon. Yeah, I don't think I, I don't think we're gonna do this. I I don't think this is gonna happen for us. <laughs> oh man, this is not how I expected this video to go, guys. Definitely not how I expected this video to go. Um, I mean, we're gonna tough it out. We're gonna tough it out. We're gonna keep going until we can't go anymore, which is probably gonna be pretty soon. Cause yeah, our guys are done. Our, our team is done. She's dead. Yeah, she's dead, and then um, she's gonna follow soon after, and it's soon gonna be War Mother standing by herself, but I don't think, she, well, as good as she is, I don't think she's gonna be able to solo this boss, so. Yeah, um, we're screwed. We're screwed. Oh, man, all right. I mean, we're still doing some decent damage. Let's see. Let's let's see what we can do with just just the War Mother. I'm gonna speed things up a little bit. Um. Yeah, this was very unexpected, guys. Very very unexpected. This boss is mad hard. I know. I know. I'm a noob. I know. For you guys who have been playing this for a while, like you're just like, dude. What are you even doing? And all I can say is I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best and it's not going so well. <laughs> okay. Um, well, as predicted, last woman standing is War Mother. Uh, we don't quit though. We don't quit though. As long as there is a glimmer of hope, we're going to keep trying. Just like that. All right. We're going to take as many of these little spiders with us. As we possibly can. <laughs> Yo, that is so OP, man. What is this healing ability? That's, that's just not fair. Alright, let's do that. Mother's Touch. Uh, and this is pretty much where we die. Alright, well guys, um, I learned my lesson today. Uh, Spider's Den pretty damn hard and I'm not gonna be attempting that for a little while I'm actually gonna take advantage of this uh, what's what's it called take advantage of the sparring pit that we just unlocked to uh, power up my units a little bit power up my champions a little bit and uh, we'll be back at it again next time but for today's video 
that's gonna do it hope you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comments down below if you uh you guys are playing this game as well if you guys are enjoying it and also of course if you guys haven't installed the game yet make sure to use the links in my description to install it for your device and uh receive a 100k silver 50 gems executioner and a full energy refill all that stuff can be found in your gift box at the very top here i do have some extra stuff here as well which i'll collect in just a second but that's going to do it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed it as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you'll like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time i hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out